Hello everyone, I'm Han Ting Chen from Peking University. I'm glad to have this opportunity to share our paper. At the next, do we really need multiplications in deep learning? High power consumption of deep networks has blocked modern deep learning systems from being deployed on mobile devices. Existing model compression methods focus on pruning, quantization, and so on. However, the compressed networks using this method still contain massive multiplications, which would cost large energy. As the table shows, compared with chip addition operation, multiplication operation is of much higher computation complexity. For example, the 8-bit addition only costs 0.0 partijoule energy, while the 8-bit multiplication costs 0.2 partijoule energy, which is a large difference. This makes us raise a question. Can we replace the multiplications in CNNs with additions? In fact, convolutions are exactly cross-correlation to measure the similarity between input feature and convolution filters. Taking the figure as an example, the convolution operation is to calculate the inner product for two vectors, the input patch and its corresponding filters. In fact, there are many other metrics to measure the distance between filter and the input feature. However, most of these metrics involve multiplications, which bring in more computational cost than additions. We are therefore interested in deploying distance metrics that maximize the use of additions. At one distance calculates the sum of the absolute difference of two points vector representations, which contains no multiplication. In this paper, we propose the AdNet, which takes the L1 norm distance between filter and the input feature as the output response, which could also measure their similarity. Therefore, the massive multiplications in networks are replaced with additions. When they analyze the influence of this new similarity measure on the optimization of narrow network. First, the gradients of Ethernets are sine gradient, which is unsuitable to optimize the narrow network of a huge number of parameters. To achieve a better performance, we develop a special backpropagation approach for Ethernets by investigating the full precision gradient. Besides, the norms of gradients of filters in Ethernets are of much smaller than that in CNNs which would store down the update of filters in Ethernet. As the table shows, the gradient of different layers of Ethernet are very small. Thus, an adapted learning rate strategy to enhance the training procedure of Ethernet is proposed, according to the magnitude of each neural gradient. As a result, the proposed Ethernet achieve comparable performance with CNS with few multiplications on CIFAR and ImageNet dataset. For example, on CIFAR dataset, the Ethernet achieve almost the same accuracy with CNS, and on the ImageNet dataset, Ethernet can achieve 17.4.9 top 1 accuracy and 19.1.7 top 5 accuracy which demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed method on large-scale image classification task. Moreover, we visualized filters, features, and the distribution of widths for Ethernet and the CNNs. Although the Ethernet and the CNNs utilize different distance metrics, filters of the proposed Ethernet networks still share some similar patterns with convolution filters. And the features of CNNs in different classes are divided by their angles. In contrast, features of Ethernet tend to be clustered toward different class centers, since Ethernet use the L1 norm to distinguish different classes. The visualization results suggest that the L1 distance can also serve as a similarity measure the distance between the filter and the input feature in deep neural networks. The distribution of width with Ethernet is close to a Laplace distribution, while that with CNS looks more like a Gaussian distribution. The reason is that the prior distribution of L1 norm is Laplace distribution. Thanks for your attention. If you had any question, you can contact me or email.